Hillary, Hillary, this uh, breaking news on the AstraZeneca birthday to my little girl, Elise. Oh, uh, happy birthday, She Elise. is nine years old today. Oh. She obviously, she had a massive socially distanced party yesterday for one person <laughs> uh, with a little cake and we had a nice time, but she couldn't have a party, obviously. Oh. And she's not happy about that, but she will be going to school. Uh, and Elise, I know you're watching. Happy birthday and we will celebrate later. So I hope you have a lovely day at school. Does that mean that on the day that you started here at Good Morning Britain, it was Elise's birthday? It was her birthday, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't happy that we were intending to have lavish celebrations on air for our anniversary. Yes, of course. Uh, for someone who, as she pointed out, is not even my real wife. No, not, thank goodness. Uh, but we weren't I mean... going to be doing the whole programme about her, Elise's ninth birthday. Well, we're doing a little bit now. We waited till you woke up. Or is she in early? This is for you, Elise. This is, this is Stevie, who I actually got to do a video proposal to your mother oh. when I proposed to your mother. True story. Did he just call to say that bumped you love her? I bumped into Stevie Wonder in a restaurant in LA and I got him to do a video message to Celia telling, it, telling her to marry me. Because she loves Stevie Wonder, I think it just tipped me over the edge. So that's a very appropriate message there. So anyway, Elise, have a great day. Happy birthday, Elise. Um, oh, we've got a picture of you. Get Elise to do a picture where she doesn't pull her face, is increasingly difficult. Oh, I love it. Let's bring you up to date with the latest headlines. Louisa, thank you. Interesting new detail on the uh, Oxford vaccine. One dosing regimen showed vaccine e efficacy of 90% when it was given as a half dose, mm. followed by a full dose at least one month apart. Another dosing regimen showed 62% efficacy when given as two full doses at least to one apart. The combined analysis from both dosing regimens resulted in an average of 70%. So that's how they got to the average of 70. So interesting how they can mix up the, the amount you get, how often you get it, all that kind of stuff. Very, very complicated stuff. We'll have the, uh, one of the people behind the Oxford vaccine, Professor Andrew Pollard, in a few minutes. Yeah, why would giving a half dose followed by a full dose mean that it was more effective? Yeah, well... Key question. That's science. Baffles me sometimes. Still ahead on Good Morning Britain. Mm. Still to come, uh, Susanna and I celebrate what nobody... Uh, so, the vaccine developed by the University of Oxford stops 70% of people developing COVID symptoms. And we can speak now to Professor Andrew Pollard, who is director... Oh, um, it's lovely to celebrate our anniversary with such good news. Well, it is. We're going to debate it? it with an expert panel, including uh, Andrew Neil and uh, Kevin and Andrew, after the break. And he's back. A good Thanks day for today. being with us for five years and longer, in fact. Mitchell and Judy next. Tell us about being a successful top like page. Like a curate saying, good Front page of the Times. Good um, parts. Vegans are 40% more likely to suffer a bone fracture, says Oxford University researchers. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So the number of vegans in Britain doubled, apparently, to 600,000 mm -hmm. in the last four years. Uh, but apparently, after this big survey, yeah, you've got a 40% more chance of fracturing your bones because they're just not strong enough because I'm you know sure what if you take supplements you can fix that maybe but not according to this um i would like to say on our fifth anniversary congratulations to the entire team and all credit to your patience and endurance i'd like to say that all credit to what everybody in the huh? gallery behind the scenes yeah you know what in guys the studio it must be out on outside yeah broadcast, honestly to our all, regional yeah. colleagues who sit there for yeah, half an yeah, hour every whatever. morning going are they going to come to us or not bother all basking in the reflected glory of what happens right here mm. so yeah yeah it's all down to you there's quite a lot to put you up here the director trying to claim all the credit mm -hmm. yeah, he will be later on twitter he'll be very active Posting his little, yeah, it's all down to me stuff. Actually, I he it. did say we're really You're lovely welcome. people. <laughs> no, Most we have got a great team here. The most bizarre thing of all, I, we'll get a picture of this later on. I posted a picture of the GMB presenting team. In my first week, they made us do this ridiculous spoof no, of Last Christmas, Christmas by Wham. And I was put in a Christmas jump. And I remember thinking, I've come from being a CNN primetime anchor in America. So this, my life is Daytime over. Cheese.